Well, the number of attacks on EMS workers more than doubled between 2018 and last year. In 2018, there were about 160 attacks. Last year, more than 380. As I'm helping them onto the bed, I have my guard down, and he, he just punched me right in my face. Kelly Gums is an EMT with the FDNY. He says he has been attacked three times by patients in recent years. The other unpopular uh, pandemic that's been going on in recent years is the pandemic of mental health. Just last week, an EMT in Staten Island was shot in the shoulder by a drunk patient in the back of an ambulance. Thankfully, the EMT survived. But the incident demonstrates just how dangerous the job can be. Oren Barzillay represents about 4,000 FDNY EMTs and paramedics. Out of nowhere, a punch will come through the window. Just sitting there, minding our own business. Or, or a brick is thrown at them, or a BB gun is, is uh, shot through the window. The FDNY has released PSAs about the safety issues. Assaulting an FDNY EMT or paramedic is a felony. In addition, the FDNY says it has trained first responders in self-defense and de-escalation. They're talking about 24 people who got trained in de-escalation. 24 people out of 4,500. Queen City Council member Joanne Ariola chairs the committee that oversees fire and emergency management. She says tightening bail reform laws and enforcing a state mental health law would help curb the violence because many of the attacks are committed by people with mental health issues. Someone who is emotionally disturbed or has mental illness or drug addiction or alcohol addiction, th that they can get the right services. Right now, it seems to be a revolving door. Linda Schmidt, Fox 5 News.